Hey guys, it is Sonia getting into place, getting ready to go live and to hang out with you guys today. Of course, I'm coming to you live from Joke Monkey Paint Company where I just love to let the paint fly, listen to great music, come on and DIY with you guys and give you great ideas, right? Yes, if you guys, as you guys are logging on, I would love it if you would say hello. And it's always fun, like I say, to see where you guys are watching from as our Joke Monkey community grows. That's so fun. So I'm hoping you guys are gonna get some inspiration today. I've got two things I kind of want to cover because hello, we did these gorgeous pots. I want to see how they, I want to show you how they uh, turned out and how they finished up. So you can kind of see, um, you know, what they look like now. Yes, they are fully dried. So remember yesterday I said to you, let me see here. Remember yesterday I said to you about um, making sure that you just kind of give them time to dry, right? So just, you know, let them do the drip, drip tray thing in your turkey roaster. As weird as that sounds for somebody who's joining us going, what the heck? Go back and watch yesterday's. Hey, Laura. Hey, Mary. Hey, hello, Laura number two. And Jay, yes, this has turned out so awesome. Like, I love how that turned out. And so, yes, this is what I mean when I say pottery inspired. Like, and they're all kind of different, but yet they're all like a cool collection, right? And so this is what I was gonna do because um, somebody was saying yesterday, like, what will you do? How will you finish them off? And I guess I should have grabbed my monkey shine before I started, right? That would probably be a good thing. Let me find my monkey shine. Here it is, my monkey shine. Whew. All right, right there. Hello, Chris. Hey, there's Angela saying hello to all. Awesome. So here's what, here's kind of a quick tip first. And then the second thing, hey Carrie, and the second thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is Chippy Hippie, okay? Like what the heck is Chippy Hippie? We're gonna get um, jiggy, I mean, uh, getting Chippy Hippie with it today. And um, a lot of you guys have been messaging me going like, Sonia, okay, so you have this stuff on your website that's called Chippy Hippie, like what do you do with it? And um, how does it work? Like what is, what's it for? So I thought today I would finish these bowls off and show you how I, polish them and make them all fun and fabulous here on the end but I'll also give you a quick demonstration of Chippy Hippie so it is so awesome like when you see Ch Chippy Hippie at work it is a mice and Linda loves them yay all right so first quick tip of the day because you guys know I love to give you all kinds of tips I've been painting now for 10 years and I got a lot to share with you guys like I love love hanging out with you guys and so one of the reasons why I keep I don't even know if you can see it but do you see this big hole I'm just gonna pull it out, okay? Do you see this, this right here? This is all used sand pads, okay? This is where the fun has been. This is where lots of creating has been done. And you're like, you don't throw them out. Well, number one, you can wash them. Did you know that? Hello, tip of the day, you didn't know that. But I keep them and here is why. I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration as to why. So here is a brand new one right here with nice, um, the medium grit, of course, that we have in our sand pad in our uh, store. My favorite grit. Now, once you've used them, they start to look like this, right? Like they start to get like they show where the wear has been and the grid is really, really worn down on them. That's when I go back there into my bin. And here is why, case in point, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work on these bowls and I'll show you why I do. Like I got a method to the madness, people. I really do. Matt doesn't think so. I'm joking with you. But then again, never, you know, what husband really does know, like why are you keeping use sand pads. I'm going to lower you down. Don't get scared. But I want to be able to, you to be able to see what's going down here so you can really see. All right. You guys see okay? I think you can see okay. I'm going to trust that you can see okay. So again, full grit, full power, and one that's been used. And so if I use my full grit, it's meant to distress. Okay. I'll distress a corner just because I can to show you. It's distressing. This one here that has the grit worn down, now I use as a polisher. Just make sure it doesn't have a wacky color on that's not going to work with your piece existing, right? There's no like yellow on here. Although if some yellow pigment came off, I think it would look pretty cool with this one, right? So now what I do is I use my old sand pads as a polisher because I don't necessarily, I'm not looking for any distressing on this, right? I just pretty much want to polish the outside of it. And that is why I keep my sand pads, okay? And then what I do is work my way all around just to sand it off, polish it off. The cool thing about our chalk style paint is that um, you can polish it and get a beautiful, beautiful, just smooth finish. So it's up to you how you want to keep your finish looking, right? That's what's so versatile about our products. If you love flat and matte and like more or less a raw chalkboard style, old time worn, great. 
but right now I'm polishing it. Basically, it's got this nice, smooth um, outside on it right now. Okay, so there you go. All right, so that's why I do this, and now I'm done. It will go back into my bin, okay? So now I'm gonna grab my Monkey Shine, which is our all-natural beeswax oil finish. I'm gonna dip my wax brush in. These are all on our website at junkmonkeypaint.com, and I know Kate is working with me here, so she's putting the, li the links up. And now, oh, this is the fun part, right, guys? This is the fun part right here. Can you see that? Can you see that? Now, I've got a glare on my phone here until I put you back up. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you're seeing that the difference when I go ahead and I seal. It just makes those colors pop. Ah, like the angels open up, or the heavens open up and the angels start to sing, right? Love that. So basically, oh yeah, like do you see where that distress mark is right there? That's pretty nice. Like I like that distress mark. I might even add a few more in now that I see that. But there you go. All right, so then we work our way all around. You can do the inside if you want, totally up to you. And then once that is done, then I'm just gonna buff it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a buff cloth that I have here and buff it off. There you go. Just like Buffy the Bam Vampire Slayer. Wasn't that what it was? Wasn't that the show? There you go. Or you Jimmy buff it, all right? Just buff it, just buff it like you don't care, all right? And we are buffed, 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 buffed. Boy, I'm glad my husband's not in the room with me right now because he would be giving me some weird looks. All right, so there you go, we are all done and I'm really happy with how that turned out. So now I need to work through the other ones, right? But I wanted to show you that real quick because that's the process that I do to seal because you guys have been asking me how will I seal these. Could I put uh, banana peel on it? Yes, I most certainly can. That is easy peasy to do as well, right? So, yay, do you guys love it? All right, I'm out of this camera so I can actually see because I feel like I can't see my comments. And so let's figure out what's going down here. We will get it figured out. Yay, 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 yay. All right, pretty cool, right? You love it, CC. yay! Ooh, I love it too, yumminess. All right, so yeah, those are, I'm just gonna work through those and we shall get them all done. But look how pretty that is, seriously. Seriously, seriously, seriously. Okay, so here's the other thing that I wanted to help you guys out with today. So I'm just gonna work through the other ones. Easy peasy, it's boring to watch me do it. Um, so I just wanted to do at least one to show you how easy it is, okay? Hey, Gaylene, so I'm gonna show you now. Um, hey, hello, Lynette and Claire. And so I'm gonna show you guys now. Chippy hippy, since I've gotten that question a lot and I thought I'm gonna help somebody out there because I will tell you, I am a shabby style painter and I will shout it from the rooftop rooftops. I love time worn furniture. I just love time worn furniture. Let me just say it again. And so um, I just think that you guys will have so much fun with the product products that we've designed to be able to give you these most amazing time worn looks. Chippy Hippy is definitely something to have in your toolbox if you are a shabby, chippy, time-worn lover, and I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna show you on this old cabinet door. This guy has been kicking around forever and a day. It was an old cabinet door sample from when I used to be painting kitchen cabinets. It's got, it's like nicked up and dented and all that sort of stuff now because it's been kicking around for the last year in boxes and in the basement. But I think it's a perfect door to demonstrate this on because uh, you see how it has like the antique, I think this is an antique lace color we put on this. So um, do you see this one? So it's like antique lace color, right? And so I'm gonna use this as the backdrop because when you put, and I'm gonna mix up a black soot milk paint because when you put the black over this color, like they are like opposites and you're gonna really be able to see the effect and I want you to be able to see how awesome it is, okay? Makes sense. Thank you, Tammy. Let's do some banana bucks today for anybody who shares this video. Type share. That would be so awesome. All right, I'm going to lower you down again. I can't really see the comments until I bring you back up. So work with my hair. All right. But this door is a mess right now. So it's the perfect, it is the perfect um, demonstration door. Okay. All right. So this is, this is what you have to imagine as being your project right now. All right. So this is your painted piece of furniture, whether you use the chalky style or the milk paint, just imagine that process from here, okay? So now what we're gonna do is get ready with our milk paint because our Chippy Hippie, and by the way, this is what it looks like, 
Because our Chippy Hippy uh, is designed and we make it to be able to work with our milk paint, you wanna make sure you use the Jug Monkey milk paint, okay? Um, if you use our Chalky Style paint, Mr. Pickles is so strong, Mr. Pickles is so strong that even when you dilute him, he still hangs on like I don't know what for dear life with vinegar and water over here. He's so strong that he will overpower the Chippy Hippy. So you just need to know that you need to use your milkshake, your Jug Monkey milkshake, okay? Miss Petunia, the girl with the girl monkeys on there, the pink, she's in a tutu, she's doing a handstand, she's like got a wild hair up her butt, you guys know, you just don't know, she can't keep still, that sort of thing, okay? So she goes all wild, it's, it's kind of like, can I tell you guys, Chippy Hippy is like giving Miss Petunia sugar. That is the truth, like that is the best way to describe it. And Miss Petunia, can you see her right here? She is on here, our little pink monkey right there in the tutu, you know what I mean? Think about like, I don't know, Think about the terrible twos or, you know, uh, that sort of thing, right? Like she is just, look out, she does wild stuff. So for this sort of look and somebody who loves Chippy Hippie, because when you see it happen, you're like, whoa, that's so cool. And it's because you need to be somebody who needs to be like non-OCD because you can't control it. You give Miss Petunia sugar and she acts out, okay? So here we go. All right, so when I'm getting ready and I need to make sure I get my milk, paint ready okay so let me go ahead and um, get my milk paints here going and so I'm gonna grab into my stash of black soot I have had this bag since last year that I keep refilling you guys might remember we used to do them in paper bags and now we do them in plastic bags where you can see through your milk powder this is why live and learn right but anyway I still have my original bag and we're still working from it all right, so as long as you just do equals, all right? So there was one scoop, one monkey scoop, one monkey scoop, right there, he's smiling at you. One monkey scoop of the milk powder. Ooh, let me move this brush. And then let's do one scoop, which is one tablespoon, by the way, of the water. I don't get OCD with this. You guys know I'm definitely not OCD with this, right? So I just pretty much do equal parts. Just do equal parts and you're gonna be really good to go. All right, let me grab a little whisk. We have these little whisks on our website. Make sure you get one because it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier when you mix up our milk paint, okay? So now I'm just gonna go and get this all stirred up and mixed up. I made a little bit of black earlier. I was working in my vlog and working with Chippy Hippy, so I'm just gonna add it into what I've got. So just do water and milk powder and um, then you just blend. You blend, baby blend, okay? You blend it like you just don't care. Now let me see how we're sitting up here because I am looking into a light and down into a jar. God help us all. Ooh, I like that, okay. And so you can put as much, um, you know, if you want to thin it a little bit, you can. Mine's been sitting here on the side for a little bit, so I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit more water. At the end of the day, you just want nice paint. It combines, it's awesome. Like I say, first 10 minutes, you just get this awesome paint oh yay okay so now we got this ready to go and now what we do is we get our surface ready and how do we do that we are going to apply the chippy hippie for this one all right so let me get rid of some of that um paint pigment that i just spilled out there okay so you painted your dresser doesn't matter what's on the bottom whether you put milk paint on the bottom or you use our chalky style paint that doesn't make a hill of beans okay it's what goes on top and so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make our little chippy hippie sandwich, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a brush and my chippy hippie. And you can rag this on if you want, but basically I wanna make sure I have my milk paint ready as I am getting ready to do this, all right? So this is our all natural from our all natural uh, milk paint line and they are made to go together. All right, but like I say, this is definitely gonna be a look for somebody who loves Funkyfied furniture, okay? And I love this. I love it, you can have so much fun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and really liberally put it all over, okay? So paint your whole dresser. Maybe you just wanna do your drawers like this, but at the end of the day, you just wanna make sure it's coated with it, okay? And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my milk paint. So remember, a few more last, let's throw that away, and then a few more last um, blends of it. And then let's grab a shabby chip brush, okay? Now I'm gonna go into my paint and let's see what happens, people. Let's see what happens. You guys see it from there? Oh my gosh. Huh, <sighs> this is still my heart. I just love this. 
I love it. Now, when I brush it over, I don't want to keep brushing that same area, okay? I don't want to basically ruin that look that begins to happen, all right? So I get this really cool pull away paint finish, um, like old, like lead paint, and just, you know, if you've seen it on old windows, you know what I mean. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this door off all around. Can you guys see it? Give me hearts if you can see what's going down here. So the reason why I'm doing black over the antique lace is because basically I have a light and I have a dark and I want you to really be able to see the exaggerated effect on here because I will tell you when you put light over dark you're definitely gonna see what's going down right you got two colors going down oh my gosh guys it is so awesome all right I'm just being very very gingerly touching up some corners to make sure I got my paint everywhere I like my lines to go in the same direction gives me that really cool professional look that I'm looking for and touching it up right here guys I'll hold this up in just a second can you see this can you see this like tell me and tell me now tell me and tell me now if you can see this pull it up for you guys look at this that is junk monkey chippy hippie at work right there all that wonderfulness right yeah so what I'm saying is like this is definitely a look for somebody who loves custom furniture and has you know clientele that just loves 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 all that I don't know if you call it like crocodile skin do you see what I'm saying like how would you guys even describe it you know what I mean I just say like getting hippie with it you know what I'm saying like chippy hippie to its finest now once this dries you can totally uh, distress your edges and then you can really like distress all like the parts to really kind of like um, kind of like I'm trying to think the word to use really just to mellow it out right now right so you're seeing absolutely the two colors a light and a dark coming together so imagine if you did a light blue and a dark blue you know what I mean um, imagine if you did like a gray and a black would be beautiful as well and I'll show you guys something in just a second but yeah this is chippy hippie right like that right there that right there it's not like crackling it's totally doing this really cool resist look right so you could do um, you could do your your like painted piece of furniture and do your drawers in chippy hippie and then have your frame in a solid color you know what I'm saying so I'll show you something else as well that's really fun but yeah right so you know what I'm saying I'm gonna have to put this door down in my store downstairs so that way when people come in and put it right next to the chippy hippie so that this is gonna be a really good um, sample you know what I'm saying really good sample I'm trying to get you up a little bit higher here give me a second guys so I can talk to you and I want to show you <clears throat> as well something else that I've got going down here because I was working on a vlog today there we go all right I think that will let me bend you so I can talk and show you at the same time let's see here wasn't that fun that was so fun yay, yay, yay. all right so yeah so there we go Chippy hippie, boom. So this will set up now and dry. So I don't force dry it. I just allow it to do it on its own because I don't wanna mess up any of that design that I have in my piece, right? So just be patient. If you use chippy hippie, let it dry on its own and then you would seal as normal, okay? So you pick the colors. So I was working on my vlog today and that will go up in just a little bit. <clears throat> but if you wanna see the other um, door that I did for my vlog, over my YouTube channel so I thought how oh I just touched it see I just did what I told you not to do oh it's because I grabbed it all right that's okay you can still see it all right so I just did this before I came on camera so that was the light this is the underside of a door that was just completely um, not painted so if you don't paint your furniture and you have brownie frowny furniture and then you do the chippy hippie right instead of I just showed you it over like antique lace this is the look you get which is still really cool. Now you're gonna see some gray in the spots because this cabinet door was painted gray before Mouse in the House. If anybody wants to see what Mouse in the House looks like, right there, it's just an old can cabinet door sample. And so I did this real quick on here to, to kind of as a demonstration to show you how it looks over just regular brownie frowny wood, right? So you can just do chippy hippie over brownie frowny wood and so you do your chippy hippie and then I did black soot again just to, so that you guys could really see the pronounced you know how cool it is 
be able to see it together, right? So there you go. And so as an example, let me put these down here, right there. Hello, Barbara, how are you? And so there we go with that. Yes, we are doing banana bucks today. In fact, Kate's gonna hand me a winner's name anytime about now. But okay, imagine, imagine doing this chippy hippie look to your brownie frowny furniture. You could even bring in some fun uh, like patterns with it. Like for example, some uh, zebra napkins. Like how cool would that be? You know what I mean? Just I'm just picturing this with this, right? Like how exotic would that look? I think that would be the bee's knees. I think I would absolutely love that. So you can totally have fun with it, jazz it up, do what you wanna do, um, and bring it together, right? But that's just another way to do custom look, looks on your furniture. So you're doing stuff that you know catches people's eye because I guarantee you, if somebody came in and saw um, a piece, like a chippy hippie piece like this, then they'd be like, whoa, that is pretty amazing, right? So I love it, I love it, I love it. So, um, yay, well I'm glad we got this sealed. Maybe I'll put that back there. So what else did I want to tell you guys about today? Oh yeah, something that we're working on. Where did I put them? Let me clean my hands. Hey Kate, you have a lucky winner for me today of $20. Oh, she just magically appeared in the um, banana box. Just make sure, thank you very much. Just make sure, what are you laughing at? Do I have, where do I have it to this time? It looks like you have uh, black eyeshadow. It's like right underneath your eyebrow. Is it on this side? Yeah. <laughs> I think yesterday I had the Harry Potter zigzag. Now yeah. I have like soot on my face. Wonderful. That's the first bit of paint I ever had on me. Right there, I swear. Right there. I never saw it before in my life. So yeah, you guys just have to uh, email me at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com before midnight tonight, okay guys? Um, so you don't, that offer doesn't turn into a pumpkin. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so we gotta let those dry. Not touch them. Remember, patience is a virtue. Don't touch them. So um, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about is, oh, actually two things. So I just put a post up on our Facebook page and um, just a little bit ago, and I said I'm working on what's called the color project, okay? So what I wanna do, I mentioned it on here before, you guys were like, yeah, that's a great idea, and I think it's a great idea, to be able to, um, basically, when you're on our website and you click on an example like vintage white, that's the color I posted for today. I'm looking for your vintage white, Junk monkey painted pictures, okay? And so I wanna make sure we put your name up or your business and give you credit for it. But basically when somebody comes to the Junk Monkey um, Paint website and they click on the color vintage white, not only do you see the white color swatch, but you see pieces of your work that you guys have actually painted. And so it's gonna be nice because, um, you know, maybe you're looking to try a different color and you're like, I wonder what that color would look like on furniture. Because you might see crazy eyes on a swatch, but you're like, I just can't visualize it on a piece of furniture, right? And so um, that's why I'm putting the call out for as we work through all of our paint colors. It started today. So tonight will end like for anybody submitting white because tomorrow white will be up on the website of your photos, okay? So today is Vintage White Day. So go back to the post after this on our wall. And if you want to submit your photo to be considered because we can only fit so many on the website, but I would love and kudos to you if you get selected and you'll be able to say, hey, bragging rights. Got my stuff over there on Junk Monkey Paint, which is pretty cool, right? So it means that we think that you did a beautiful job. So um, that would be so awesome if you would do that. So as part of the, um, when I talk about colors and some things that we're working on behind the scenes, I just want you to know that Adam, who is Kate's other half, you guys know Adam, right? This is what he's been working on today with Aloria as well. They've been doing um, actual manually doing color swatches, okay? So one of the things that was important to me is not to have print, computer generated color swatches. I wanted to have the real deal paint colors on a card that you guys could then get through the website. It comes to you. You can put your card up, hold it on your wall and go, what color Junk Monkey paint should I get? Boy, I think with that sunshine, hopefully you can see me. I'm gonna have to turn it. I've got like so much sun sunshine coming in through the window. Um, can you even see me? Holy moly. All right, so, so this is coming right here. So they worked on a bunch today, and basically this is the Chalky Style paint right here, the 25 colors, and it's gonna be so nice for you to be able to see 
and go, which one do I want? But just know that these are all done with love and um, somebody actually made this part of their job to be able to create these, okay, for you guys. And so I want you to have the real deal paint colors, not a computer generated swatch like I told you, because I think that is much more special when you have an actual paint sample card to be able to keep and uh, be able to refer to if you want to add on more colors or just to be able to kind of like hold up in your own space because just like I'm talking about sunshine it is hard to like sometimes you know your space might be different than somebody else's the light can reflect a little bit differently on the colors and sometimes you know what people see in a computer screen could be different than what you see in person right so I think this is going to be go a long ways to be able to help you guys out to be able to pick the real deal colors I mean right now you can see even through here like that's white that's um our antique lace and you can start to see the colors come together right so yay so watch for those to be added I'm hoping for tomorrow but seriously Aloria and Adam are working through all of our pink uh, colors they're basically doing bingo dabbers taking the time to put swatches out okay guys um, so watch for that to come and like I said I have a call out today for your vintage white colors to be added as well to really be able to help you all right and with that said who is ready for the winner today all right my friend today the winner is for $20 in banana bucks to be used at jugmonkeypaint.com is Debbie Snyder. Debbie, S C H N E I D E R. Kate has affectionately picked you today, Debbie Schneider. There you are. Magically, your name appears on the screen. Like, I don't know how that happened. Kate is just that good. All right, so I'm going to stick this here. Wait for Debbie to email me at jugmonkeypaint.com before midnight tonight. So Eastern Standard Time so she can collect on that and I'll send her back a code. Thank you guys for hanging out. So hopefully, uh, you know, you're inspired to do some pottery inspired decor, all that fun, or give some chippy hippy a try and make some really cool effects and have fun just playing with all the different paint colors. Look at this again, like so awesome. So I would just wanna let this sit up and dry and then tomorrow I would come back and very lightly like use a banana peel over it or something like that, whatever I wanna do, right? Um, to be able to uh, seal it, but just be gentle with it and let it dry. That's the most important. And don't rush the process. Go watch some Netflix while you're waiting for it to dry. All right. Well, you guys take care. I will see you again tomorrow. All right. Much love. Watch for the new vlog to get uploaded tonight on YouTube. Go find us over there. Bye, guys.